Okay, so once you're at this point, you've removed all of your side panels, your front and back panels, and your top panel. You take the, the unit, you turn it over, and what you want to get at is just the board, the first board that's at the bottom of this unit. And uh, so you don't need to remove anything else. It takes you about maybe 10 minutes to get, you know, a couple minutes to get to this board. So the first thing you need to do is uh, take it to the front. The first item you remove is the um, the the faceplate motor. So two screws, one screw here, one screw here, remove those. And then you turn to the back. There's actually two screws here, one, two. I've already removed those already. One, two screws you have to remove. So once you remove this, the bottom portion actually comes out. But the way the bottom portion comes out is, here's the front of the stereo. You wanna start lifting from the front of the stereo. And then what happens is there's actually a little connector right here on the other side that pops up, that, that releases. And then you could actually lift it up a little bit and pull it forward. Pull it forward and it should just actually pull right off here. Just need a little little maneuvering so here's the connector it connects right to here so this is the motor for the front face plate so set this aside and we're almost there all right so here's the next board to remove there's actually only two screws here so there's one screw here one screw here this is actually i believe the rear entertainment system uh if you have one some units may not have one on Lexuses and, and ES300s. They may not have a rear entertainment system. So this is the board. So disconnect this plug. And again, it has the ribbon cable that actually goes over the connector here. So you have to kind of gently pry up on that so it releases and then and then wiggle this cable out. So that's, that's that. So we'll set this aside. And then there's a bracket that holds in that holds that board in. Now, again, I think on some Lexus models, again, this may not actually be here. So, um, so go ahead and remove the screw here. Bracket here. And there's actually a face bracket. You see actually this actually holds on to this just by a little, little bit of a tab. So you could actually remove this board without taking that off. Let me just double check what I just said here. Yeah, so you can actually remove it, but I'm going, going to go ahead and just remove this bracket right here. Two screws, one screw here. One screw here. And this is actually the, it's actually just a grounding, grounding bar. It connects this ground to the face, to the face plates ground right here. It's actually, I, I believe it's, it's part of like an anti-shock kind of a system. In case you had some static electricity. So here's the, the bar, static electricity. I think it dissipates that, so. Okay, um, so then last thing you need to do is this board. So this is the this is the secondary power board, I believe. And it actually, um, it's not the main power board for the DVD player, but it controls some of the other elements on here. Um, it has a fan here on here. Um, and I just replaced this whole this board. The board. And there'll be a link on the description on where to find this board. Um, if anybody has any comments on how to repair this board or how to test this board, please let me know. I'd like to... Um, find a hack, for, a hack for uh, for how to actually repair this board instead of replacing the whole thing. Uh, maybe save everybody some money as well. But for now, uh, this board is going to get replaced. There's three screws. One, two, three. There's also a ribbon cable here that takes you to the DVD map system. So. This, this, is, this connector actually flips up. So you flip that connector up and then you just, and this cable actually needs to be pulled up a little bit before you pull it out. So pull it up this way and then pull it out this way. 
Okay, so once that board's removed, there's actually another connector somewhere around here that you have to gently pry up. So what I would do is just gently lift this board up and then disengages the connector right here. And this is the board you need to replace. Okay, so we'll go ahead and find this board, a replacement board, and then we'll have it uh, installed. Uh, be sure to subscribe and like for the uh, remaining episodes on how to reinstall this board and power up the unit. Thank you.